on police reforms and racial justice, you know, it doesn't appear the Democrats have the votes needed to pass the George Floyd Policing Act, uh, as the administration hopes. Is the White House open to negotiations on this, possibly even giving maybe another look at, at Tim Scott's Justice Act the Democrats blocked last year? Well, we will leave that. I know uh, Senator Scott, Senator Booker, and others are in close discussion and coordination about what a path forward may look like. We certainly understand that there could be changes to proposals that have been forward, put forward to date. Uh, we believe that the George Floyd uh, Act has a lot of the components that will help uh, rebuild the trust, help address, put in place many of the reforms that are frankly long overdue. So we, but we also recognize that democracy in action means changes take place. So we'll have to see what the discussions look like and whether the president could support any changes that would be made through that process. And if I could, I just want to get your reaction to some comments from Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib that are getting a fair amount of attention. Uh, responding to Dante Wright's shooting, she says, I'm done with those who condone government-funded murder. No more policing, incarceration, and militarization. It can't be reformed. What do you make of those comments? Do you disavow her calls for no more policing? Look, I, what I can state from here is that um, that's not the president's view. The president's view is that there are necessary, outdated reforms that should be put in place, that there is accountability that needs to happen, that the loss of life is uh, far too high, that these families are suffering around uh, the country, and that uh, the black community is exhausted uh, from the ongoing uh, threats they feel. But he also believes that there is a forum for putting in place legislation, the George Floyd Act, uh, that can help put many of these uh, necessary reforms in place, and that part of what needs to happen is rebuilding trust in communities uh, in order to get to a better place. Go ahead, Steve. As a follow-up to that, there are people all across the country who are demonstrating and, and, and act actively calling for reform. What expectation should they have for change in the Biden era? What, what is this president going to bring to bear if, for example, qualified immunity isn't removed from the law, if, if you can't get that in a bipartisan agreement? Well, first, we're not going to get ahead of what the discussions are about a bipartisan agreement. I think what Americans who are exhausted, who have suffered, who are worried about their kids and their family members should know is that the president sees racial equity uh, as a central focus of his presidency. And his uh, actions bear that out. He has obviously signed a number of executive actions. He is a strong supporter of putting in place, working through legislation that can put in place permanent reforms. And he will continue to elevate and talk about the need to address these issues across the country at a range of opportunities. And I hopefully that gives some reassurance to the public about his commitment. Quick question about 